Hey guys, it's KJ48, and welcome back to my Space Engineers Let's Play. This is Season 1, Episode 33, and we're here with a buddy of mine, the Imperator Pat. Hey there, guys. Yeah, for those of you who've been watching, uh, <laughs> for those of you who are watching my uh, multiplayer series, this is the guy uh, I've been doing multiplayer stuff with, and he agreed to, well, he agreed to do two things for me. First of all, take a look at the hangar. Check it out. Me and him, uh, how long do you think this took us? An hour? Hour and a half? Yeah, yeah, about an hour. It really didn't take us as long as I thought it would. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to give you guys a quick tour on the hangar, and then we're going to go after that mining hauler off in the distance. So, uh, Pat, yeah, like, was on here with an hour, an hour and a half for me. You know, just being a really cool guy and getting nothing out of it for himself and just being totally <laughs> awesome. So I told him, you know what, man, you got to be on my next video, and, like, i got to give you props, because everyone's going to think I did all this myself, and that just wouldn't be fair. So, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, anytime. That's what I'm here for. Alright, so this is going to be the door right here. You're going to walk in the door. There's going to be glass going all the way to the side right here. This is going to take you over here. There's going to be another door right here, which is going to take you to the landing pad. The landing pad, as you can see right here, I color it green. And it has walkways to each of the land, the actual landing pads. Okay, right there we got my drill ship. The wasp is floating around here somewhere. And if you look over here on the right, we have, uh, what would you call these 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 like raised platforms i don't know is there um, a word for this or i don't know I, I i think you could just call them platforms yeah uh i'm gonna call them my module platforms i guess that's where i'm gonna put my modules as you can tell right here i got the uh grinding module right there and we were working on the roof the roof still has a lot of work uh needed to be done but we've gotten the majority of it done and uh honestly i just want to finish the whole thing and then we i'll probably do the rest of this off camera all right, right here is going to be where you're going to fly your ships out. This is the doorway. The doorway ended up being a little bit smaller than I intended, but it's going to be big enough for my ships. And um, if I made it any bigger, it wouldn't line up with the with the 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 launching pad or whatever whatever it is. The you know the big green thing in the middle. So I'm going to landing strip. the landing strip. Yeah, launching strip. Whatever whatever you're doing. So. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make um, doors right here, which I don't think we're going to get to today, but uh, we're going to try like heck. And then I'm going to actually bring this out more and do some little things with the landing pad, but that's not really important. The most important thing is to get the door made. But before we do that, we're going to actually go for the mining hauler. How's that sound? All right. Are we going to do that right now? Yeah, might as well. Okay. Well, we went through a lot of resources doing this. Um, I've got about 4,000 metal plates being made right now, and that's going to take my iron down to about 10,000. Uh, so that's very low. Uh, so we're going to go get a mining hauler. Yeah, get something to grind. Do you have a separate grinding ship? Yes. Well, it's a... Oh, yeah. yeah, you do. It's over here. Well, yeah, but I also have the module. Yeah, we could both grind at the same time, though. Yeah, that would speed things up. All right. All right, let's do this. So the, the the ships are kind of bugged at the moment, and they're not going to fire at people. Uh, well, just in case. <laughs> let, me, <laughs> let me dump off my stuff. <laughs> I don't have anything on me except for my welder, so I'm going to go right for it. Okay, cool. All if right. I'm not mistaken, I don't think the mining hauler is trapped, so I think we should be good on that. Nothing's trapped on my world. I don't have thruster damage. Oh, yes. Yeah, of course they won't be. Yeah. Awesome. So um, Pat is like an expert at catching these ships, or at least compared to me, because he does this a lot. So uh, we actually uh, caught some, if you were watching the multiplayer server Let's Play, um, we uh, actually caught a couple there, which was nice, it, it, although I was bugged out, so I couldn't open them. So it's going to be kind of curious if you can open them. Yeah, I don't know. I might not be able to. Yeah. We'll see, I guess. I actually went on a, I went on a, um, a cheat world and built a hangar bay door that I know will work. I learned how pistons work. Um... They're a little bit more complicated than you'd think, but I know how they work now. At least with bomb blast doors, they or the blast doors, they you know, there's little tricks, and I'm going to show them to you as we build them. They changed the design of the mining hauler a little bit. Oh, this is that big one. This is like one of the first ships you got. Yeah, it's it's like that massive big yellow ship. That yeah, I with have. the big like pads, like the landing pads on it, and so it's a very weird, weird ship. Very large too. All right, let's take a look at this thing. This thing's monstrous. A lot of good materials in here if you want to grind it or use it or do whatever. Oh my goodness, they did change this. Changed it quite a bit. It looks better. 
Yep, I can't grind anything, so it'll be up to you. <laughs> oh, God help us. Uh, dampener's off. Where's the door? Um, there is no door. You see where I am right now? I think if you grind right by this... Either right here or right over... No, it's right over here, actually. Right where I am. Inside here is where the cockpit is. Okay, whoa, okay, here we go. Oh, wow, perfect. One grind. All right. So yeah. Let's sit in this sucker and turn the dampeners on. And we are now slowed down. Now, do you want to take it back and look at it? Or do you want to... I think I should show my people, because I don't usually yeah, capture totally ships. Do. So let's... uh, let's. Sh let, you want to give me a tour? Do you know it that well, or...? Um, I kind of sort of do. Let me... Let me see if I can actually work this. No, it's kind of bugged out at the moment for me. I can't use anything on it. Okay. And I can't grind it. Where do you... So. Show me where you, where you want me to grind. Um... Where are you? <laughs> I'm in the hangar right now. I don't know. Probably have no idea where the hangar is. Um, if you want to hop out through the little hole that you had, I don't think you stopped, are you? Yeah, I stopped it. Uh, it's not stopped for me. Oh. I'm gonna actually uh, hop off of the world and hop back on. We've had this bug before. Okay, just let me know if you need another invite. Okay. Um, you might just want to drive that back to the, your home base, and I'll meet you there, and maybe we'll give you a tour then. Yeah. Well, I might have to pause the video to invite you, so I'm gonna actually wait okay. and get back. Actually, I'll just pause the video either way, so we'll be right back, guys. All right. Okay, we're back, and we got Pat back in. I'm gonna show you right here. I actually found the hangar. It's right here. And I'm assuming you could probably make this door, like, open. Uh, I'm not gonna keep the ship, though, but eventually I do want to capture one of these ships and kind of outfit them for my own personal use. That could be pretty interesting. The oh, mining hauler we have gravity? is actually a pretty good ship for it. Wait, how do we have gravity? And the gravity's upside down. Unless they yeah. want, unless turrets are supposed to be on the ceiling. Yeah, turrets are on the ceiling. Okay, I I thought the turrets were on the floor, so I was like, <laughs> I was orientated so the turrets were on the floor. But nope, the gra the gravity generator is pointing the correct way. Okay. Yeah. This is a neat uh, neat place. What's in here? This might be. Yep. There's the nuclear reactor. I'm just gonna look around, show my people, cause uh, you know, people watch just me. I haven't seen mm -hmm. this. And by the way, if you are watching just me, what's wrong with you? You need to go check out the Imperator Patch channel as well. He does excellent stuff. That's why I uh, decided to uh, see if he wanted to partner up because he makes really, really good videos and uh, he's helped me out in a lot of ways in this game. And, uh, you know, cool guy. So, not a lot of cool guys on YouTube. So, find someone that's cool, go do a collab. <laughs> oh, yeah. The chances of finding collab with you. The, ch the chances of finding someone that's cool that likes the same games as you is like very rare and, and is around the same, you know, sub count. And, like, you know, I mean, our, honestly. Except for the difference in numbers, our channels are almost identical. They're growing at the same pace. The only difference is, this is your Seven Days to Die. Seven Days to Die is my big game. Yeah, it is your big game. But, Which, uh, by the way, I have to try out one of these days. Hey, man, anytime you want, man. You just come on a weekend. We'll get you on the uh, the Dead Planet server. I'll, get, I'll teach you how to play it. It's a fun game. It's it's yeah. a, it's a little bit like Space Engineers, but it's different in all the right ways. Yeah, no, I've watched they, a couple of your videos. Um. Yeah, they do. They complement each other very well. They're both fun. Yeah, like a lot of people say, oh, Space Engineers. By the way, guys, I'm looking for the cockpit again. Uh, a lot of people say, oh, Space Engineers and this, you know, they're the same game. But no, they're really not. And uh, what's more is they, they like I said, they complement each other very well. I guess they're, they do have a lot of things in common, but they're not the same game. I, I wouldn't say they're the same. I mean, in Space Engineers, you really don't have a constant threat of zombies or aliens or whatever it is. Okay. Whereas in Seven Days to Die, I know you do. Now, this is really reminding me of your world. I'm starting to see this ship. Because you captured one of these ships, and you made the you made the cockpit. You put glass around it. I remember that now. Okay. All right, guys. Let's get this big big bad boy back to base. We got Whenever you want to turn, uh, in case you didn't know if you're watching this, for tips or whatever, if you want to turn a big ship like this, you do it with the arrow keys. Yeah, so, very important. It does help, yeah. Probably not a lot of fuel in here, so let's turn on our dampeners. And, uh, I'm not going anywhere. Why am I not going anywhere? Je really slow? That might be part of the issue. No, it's just really slow. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, I'm not moving! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a really big ship. You'll have to put... I actually think one of the rear thrusters on it isn't finished, and that might be part of the reason it's so yes, slow at I the moment. Yes, I saw that. It's, it's fast enough. 
I might pause the video though. <laughs> and okay. Yeah, let me pause the video, guys, and uh, I will come back when we're back. We're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna dock this up to the grinding station, and then uh, me and him are gonna go crazy during a uh, time lapse montage. So uh, see you there. Okay, and we're back, and uh, I brought you guys back because I'm gonna try and dock this beast. Um, to that landing gear. I guess, uh, I guess I should take the landing gear that's on the ship apart. Uh, I could use the ship's own landing gear, but, uh, we didn't want to do that because once I destroy the, the ship's power, if I knock out all its, uh, uh, all its, um, power supply, you know, like, uh, reactors, uh, that could be an issue. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take this landing gear off myself. So let's do that. Right. I'll help you with that. All right. Where is it? Are you uh, This ship's a monster. I almost don't want to tear it apart. Oh, there it is. The beauty, but yeah, it is a lot of useful materials in it. I like the way the, I like where the cockpit is too. It reminds me a little bit of the Millennium Falcon. It kind of it's kind of offset to it's the like side. It's like offset to the side and on top. I'm just trying to make this area as flat as possible. Okay. Go. Should work. Oh, take this one. One more. Okay. So Could now for the, the fun part. Too. Yeah, this should be uh this should be something else. Have fun with this. These things <laughs> they don't handle that great. <laughs> All clear! No, I'll, I'll tell you if you can run into something. How about that? I'll be your spotter. Okay. See, the, the thing is, it's depth perception that's an issue with this game. And I'm not sure if it's like that in real life in space. Uh, actually, it's not because in space, I, I've mentioned this before, computers would be doing all this. Oh, yeah. They have radar guides and yeah. whatnot. You have quite a ways yet. Probably. This thing actually oh. has a little bit of pickup. Like 20 meters. Go. Uh, I'd slow down, slow down a little bit more. All right, I'm gonna go into the side. I would go down a little bit to actually burn down. Okay. There you go, perfect. Now straight forward for about half a ship length. Am I lined up more. properly? You're lined up properly. Just oh, keep okay. on going forward. Okay. Yeah, yeah. See. Forward. A bit more. A little bit more. Two blocks space. One block space. A bit more. A little bit more. There you go. You're locked. All right. Well, you wanna lock it for me? Yeah, well. Something on your landing gear. <laughs> Let me. It's probably a piece of the last ship I grinded out. Yeah, there, there was some metal grid. <laughs> oh, um, need a good control panel to lock it. Oh, you could have just hit the door. There we go. I don't think the doors, uh, control panels work. No? Oh, okay. Well, it's locked, thank you. Let's, uh, let's uh -oh. kind of... You want to use the wasp? Sure. For some right. reason the gravity turned off again. I don't know if I did that. Uh-oh. Ooh, oh, that's... Oh, no, um, we're overloaded because the... What? What? The landing gear. Yeah. What? The well, landing maybe gear? The battery. Maybe it's the battery died, I don't know. Oh, hold on, let me see what's going on. Something's not I, right. hate, I hate trying to get through doors with no gravity. It's the worst. Although they have made it better. It used to be almost impossible. All right. What's going on? That better not have used all my uranium. I hope not. No, it's not even like it's not even drawn from this. Huh? Wait a minute. How could that be? Is it using power? It's it's not using power from the reactor. So what was happening was the battery was sucking up every bit of power coming from the reactor. Wait, no, oh. the reactor wasn't even burning anything now. Huh. Or was it? Hold on. That's interesting. It still sounds like something's wrong. Let me, uh... No, we lost gravity again. No, something's... Something messed up. Let me look in the control panel. Okay. I mean, the gravity's back. No, it's gone now. No, we're overload. I, I'm gonna need another reactor. Really? That's amazing. What is what's being used? Um, well, the ship. we are using the refinery and assembler. Well, not the refinery, but the assembler. Yeah, but refinery and assembler. I've had those going before. I never even got close to 
two gravity generators. Try um try turning off the recharge on your battery and see what happens. I did. That's what made it work for a second. Okay, because right now I have gravity. I don't know about you. No, I don't. No, the gra your the gravity generator out there is getting it. Do me a favor. Go out to the hangar and turn off the gravity generator. Okay. I'm getting three G's over here. Only two. Wait. Um. Wait. Something's. Can't actually reach. Oh, yeah. There we can. All right. It's not using my uranium ingots. The small reactor is not using the ingots. Did Did you have it turned off? Maybe I don't know. I didn't think so. I, when When would I have turned it off? Like. That's a good point. I don't know. I have it is off. To your it's off. Generator, so. <laughs> weird. Okay. All right. Well, I'll put my battery on recharge again. That's weird. I don't know when I did that. I don't know. All right. Well, problem solved. Hey, if you oh, don't have some, some uh, if you don't have some crazy crap going every once in a while, it's, it gets boring. Exactly. Throws a wrench into your workings. All right. I don't know what am I. You, you can you think of a name for this small ship? Uh, which small ship? Is it the one with the grinder and the welder on it? Yeah, what do you think? I don't know, ask your subscribers, maybe they can come up with something. Well, they named the Wasp and the Hangar, so I want you to name this. No pressure, but make sure it's no an pressure, awesome name. Okay. It's gotta be an awesome name that's gonna blow all the other names out of the water. What do you think? Oh, man, I'm self-conscious. <laughs> okay, you think about it, and uh, if you think of one by the end of the video, Cool. If not, guys, if he doesn't think of one by the end of the video, I want you to name this ship. Now, this was a prototype ship, an early ship. You know, put that in your name. Uh, something that says prototype. Okay. You know, something like that. Uh, it's also not really used anymore. It's kind of... Uh, what's the, what's the name? Of, what's the uh, uh, the name of the rocket that took people to the moon? Was it the Orion? It was the Saturn V. Saturn V, yeah. Like, we don't use that anymore, you know? So... I guess they named it when they made it anyway, so it doesn't even matter. But I think it's something like that. Mm -hmm. I could name it okay. the Saturn V, I guess, but that doesn't really make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be pretty funny, though. Uh huh. All right, grinder on. Let's go. Bringing the Saturn V out of retirement. Okay, that's what we're calling it then. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> no, we won't call it that. If uh, Pat thinks of something, uh, tell me some uh, ancient Roman stuff. That isn't that what? What's your thing? What's your name name after the Imperator Pat? Isn't that like yeah, some that's ancient just Roman, a thing? Roman commander? Yeah. So you know about all this stuff, man. You're smart. <laughs> You're like super smart, man. Think of something. And no pressure, but it has to be awesome. Okay. No, no pressure, but it has to be awesome. Okay. <laughs> oh, you should grab the grinding module and come on over here. Oh yeah, that's right. You have a grinding module. Yeah. I will definitely get to that. When he gets over here and starts out with the grinding module, and we're grinding together, uh, we're going to do a time lapse. And for those of you who might be getting sick of the music I use for this game, um, Pat's got some uh, royalty-free music sites he's going he's gonna to get to me when he gets a chance, and uh, maybe, maybe we'll get some new music, we'll see. Yeah, well, I'll get on that. <laughs> I have a friend I work with that said he was going to do some music for me, too. Oh, nice. I have an old friend that I've known since fifth grade that uh, wrote some music for me one time that I uh, I used on an, a Minecraft intro video. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I actually have a couple of buddies that are in a band. I'm seeing if I can get them to uh, oh, use cool. some of their music. Do you know who Pete Dorr is? I don't, unfortunately. Yeah, he's a relatively big YouTuber. He's going to be 100,000 subs or something. My friend, he's from uh, New Jersey, which is where I'm from. And uh, my friend Dwayne actually wrote music for one of his uh, intros as well. Oh, nice. Man. All right, let's see what we're doing here. Uh, inventory, where's everything going? It's all going into the medium carbon container, which should be right behind the grinder. Yeah. Okay. Plenty of room. Awesome. Right, let's get this show on the road. All right. For all the good stuff right away. I'll go for the heavy armor blocks. You around here? Yep, I'm going for the hangar doors and stuff. All right. I'm actually gonna do some grinding with you, and then after that, I'm gonna watch you grind in the okay for like a like a minute or so, just because it might be fun to watch. 
Sure. All right, guys, we're going to do the time lapse, so, uh, you know, enjoy the time lapse. All right, guys, we're back, and uh, as you can see, I had to empty out some cargo stuff in the ship. I didn't even think about that. Uh, next time I captured this, we could probably use the ship's connector, which is probably what we should have done in the first place. Um, I just didn't think of it, and uh, we almost grinded out all those cargo, cargo containers and not even realizing. He's like, did you empty the cargo containers? I was like, what? <laughs> like, you know, I don't, I don't do this stuff usually, so I was like, no, I didn't. So it was all just a big cluster, you know what? So um, we've done everything we can do there. We've gotten what we need, uh, but unfortunately we're coming to the end of the video and I have selfishly begged Pat to do another video with me and he said he will because he's <laughs> awesome. So uh, next video we're going to work on the door for sure. I mean, I don't think there's anything stopping us from going and working on it right away. So that's going to be it for episode 33. We'll see you next time for episode 34. Until then, take it easy. Guys, later.